Hello there, this is DC Decrypt here, and um, with a World of Tanks video, riding the Easy 8 wonderful little Sherman, and ignoring the trolls. Now, um, on this snowy, snowy level, I decide that actually it might be prudent to take up firing positions. This is a moment of clarity, ladies and gentlemen. A moment where I've actually started to learn, which is quite nice, and I'm very proud of this moment, really. So, settling down for what could be quite an interesting scenario. Now, I've learnt that actually running to that corner doesn't often yield any results, it just leads to death. But, you do quite often get people popping through this little gap here. Uh, uh, please don't ever be this sort of person. Just, I, I don't know what he hoped to accomplish by that, I think he just wished to annoy me. I think he'd been firing at me for the last start, so... Don't feed the trolls, ladies and gentlemen, don't feed the trolls. Anyway, back onto the case in point. Between those, uh, the hill and that rocky outcrop, you often get heavy tanks trying to sneak their way through. And yes, that um, T1 still trying to bait me, but uh, yeah, just ignore him. Just ignore him. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Right. Patience does pay off, however, as we finally get our first contact, I believe from AMX 12T, lighting up the Churchill. Here we go. Now we engage. And from this point onwards, the gun goes glows red hot. This is my favourite thing about the Easy 8 just the amount of shells that you can throw the enemy's way first few rounds, obviously not doing a huge amount. Now, finally landed a good one on the uh, Churchill 7. Tracked him! Hopefully we can make use of that. Like that side right of the through. turret, oh he's finally shot. Now I don't know why I'm still aiming at the side, uh, it's too shallow an angle, it's going to ricochet half the time. However I've corrected, and why the hell not, another one into the darkness. There's a tank destroyer over there that decided to, well, just be a lemming, really, but, um, good on you. I'm sure you had fun. So, KV-1S needed some attention. Even heavy tanks need loving. And we just let it absolutely win. If I was in any other tank with less ammunition, I think I would have run out and had to resort to ramming people. But as it happens, the easy eight just keep on coming. Now you may hear that the uh, sounds are completely different. We downloaded a sound mod the other day, um, and it works beautifully well. I do much prefer a more hollow, bassy sound to the uh, gunfires. I believe it's a historical sounds mod. I'll put a link in the description. It just feels like the old films of tanks engaging in battle. It's just very, very, very nice to listen to. I think we flattened him somewhere there. Something critical must have gone because that was a lot of damage in my head. Anyway, I do look in retrospect that it would have been nice to have got a kill there. Uh, would have got me my top gun. I don't think that at Type 58 was anywhere nearby, but I always find it's good to, if you're passing an area just to throw a shell that way just to make people duck. It's always quite entertaining. Now this is one thing that the Easy 8 is fantastic at, is firing on the move. Ranging ahead of him and just nailing him. I don't think that KV1 was in too much trouble, but ah, it's always fun. Now, southern flank seems to be holding up quite well, but we need to do our end of the bargain to make sure that they don't get reinforcements. So, risky run past the KV1S, however, he's much more interested in that weakened KV1 and the M6. So we sneak up, sneaky sneaky sneaky, and chuck a few rounds and finish him off. Job done. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I do love the maneuverability of this vehicle. Although it has to be said, I do spend a lot of my time going in reverse with most of my tanks. You will have to forgive me for that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I was looking out for. I think I may have suspected there was one more tank, but obviously there isn't. Now, running down here, we're now going to get them straight flat into the side and cause an absolute 
mess in their bad lives. However, I spy a little bit of free meat, and as no one's coming to engage me at the moment, why not? Seems that their tank destroyer and everything else is dealing with the uh, all the other threats, so throw a few rounds into this guy. However, silly moment inbound. See that Yag Panther? I didn't. Not until this moment, and then I realise, oh dear, that was a little bit cheeky of me and a bit foolish. Now, I'm very surprised that he didn't actually follow me around. However, he decided that I wasn't worth it because of my friend, or at least they were juicier targets this side, and, well, we make him pay for that. In the tracks, in the engine. Job done. Now, Type 58 is way, way off. Uh, I won't have no hope of getting a Top Gun now, so just go and sit on the cap. Always prudent to do so, as we get some extra points for it at the end of there. More experience, more fun. So, sat here comfortably, twiddling my fingers. Job done. So the scores. 7,760 XP with a times 5 experience bonus uh, means we got 1,035 experience basic. Very, very, very pleasing result that. Um, we've got some spotting damage and uh, most of our damage though was done by getting stuck in. So I'm quite pleased with that result. 5 kills is always a nice number to see. Top there on the damage and top on the XP, very, very pleasing. Not often it happens, but when it does, brings a smile to my face. Well, there's the other side of it. 44 shots fired. I was just two away from wasting my entire ammunition rack. Fantastic. Didn't get into the ACPR or the HE. Um, possibly could have thrown a couple of uh, ACPR at the Churchill 7, but uh, it didn't prove necessary at the end. 25 penetrations, pretty average. Um, although 2,142 damage, as I've said, is quite pleasing to see. Took 710 damage. Um, it's always risky, and that last encounter with Yagpan that was probably not the best, most well thought out. But all in all, I'm very pleased with that game. Anyway, I've been DC Decrypt, and I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra!